Welcome to the video. Today you're going to learn how to compress an image for your website using Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and load up the image in Photoshop, but the image I'm currently working with is in a 4K resolution and I don't want to upload it to my website in that resolution. I want to actually downscale it to 500 by 500 pixels. And to do this we're going to go ahead and click on create new. And then what I want to do is click on customize and then once customize our canvas to whatever we want. So I've currently selected 500 by 500. Then we're going to go ahead and click on create. What I want to do now is go ahead and drag and drop the image from our desktop where you saved it onto the canvas and that's going to go ahead and open it up in that resolution. Now once you're happy with the image we then want to go ahead and render out this image but we want to do it specifically for a website so it's not going to be taking up much data and it's going to be compressed correctly. And to do this we're going to go ahead and click on file then you want to go ahead and click on export and then we want to go ahead and click on save for web and this is going to be a rendering option specifically for a website. So there's going to be a couple of things we need to take note of and a couple of things to change. So the first thing we need to take note of is these figures down here. So where it says 198 kilobytes, that's going to be the file size of our final image. And what we're looking for really is the image to be no more than 200 kilobytes. We want to make sure that this file size is small and compressed, that way our website is going to load up a lot quicker. So in order to achieve this compression, what we're going to do is change a couple of things up here. And to do this, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and select JPEG instead of GIF. And automatically that's compressed it down to 20 kilobytes. Now if your image does contain transparency, you need to make sure that you select on PNG. Otherwise JPEG won't render out transparent images. But most of the cases we're going to be using JPEG. We then need to go ahead and select the image quality. So you might not be able to see it on this video. Um, but from my eyes this is quite pixelated. So for the quality we want to bump this up from uh, 5 to 50%. And as you see it's much better. Um, you will never need to use 100% quality and uh, as you can see if I do it jumps all the way up to 143 kilobytes So I recommend using somewhere between 30 and 50% quality Once here you want to make sure that these two boxes are unticked and you want to make sure optimized is ticked And you want to make sure that convert to sRGB is also ticked Now when it comes to metadata you want to make sure you selected none because when you upload it to the website uh, the image will contain metadata which means more data is going to be stored however if your image is copyrighted uh, you want to make sure that you select one of the copyrighted metadata options the image I'm going to be using is from Pixabay where you can download free high quality images and the one I'm going to be using is this one right here so once we've changed all settings it look, should look something like this as you can see, I've managed to achieve a 50 kilobyte uh, compression with this image and it still looks really good. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and click on save. And then you want to save it to wherever you want on your computer. And you want to make sure the file name is really relevant. That way it's going to be better for SEO when you upload it to your website. So if you are interested in more Photoshop videos, I will have a playlist below where you can look to them there. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day.